Well, good morning. It's a great day at the Groveland Church of Christ, and we are so thankful to God for the wonderful blessings He gives us. We're thankful for the blessing to be able to assemble together and to worship Him, and we pray on this first day of the week that that worship will be acceptable to Him and will be beneficial to each of us as we offer to God worship that is acceptable and pleasing to Him. As a congregation here in Groveland, we solicit your prayers uh, that God will bless the work here, that it will be to His honor and to His glory, and will be to the saving of the lost in this area. And with that thought in mind, we are thankful to God for a new addition to our church family here. On Wednesday evening, uh, Paul Gilmet put on Christ in baptism. Uh, he is the husband of Nancy, uh, and just recently now this couple that came to us uh, by virtue of finding us on the internet uh, both of them have now been baptized into Christ and we're excited for them and look forward to working together with them at this congregation as they help us and as we help them to grow uh, that we'll work together to God's honor and glory we want to pray for the church the world over pray that God will bless the work uh, that we will serve him faithfully and walk hand in hand with him that in all things will, will be to his honor and glory. We want to uh, continue to pray for our country, pray for the healing of our land, um, the things that divide us, that we can get them out of the way, pray for our leaders, that they will be given wisdom from the Almighty God, uh, that they will know how to lead us. Uh, thank God for the blessings we have to be able to assemble freely and to worship him. And though some of those things are under attack today, not only in this country, but around the world, and we just pray God will help us that we can continue to assemble together freely, to worship Him openly, uh, to speak His word and proclaim the greatness of the Almighty God. A number of our folk who deal with illness, uh, we want to continue to lift them up in prayer, uh, to remember them. Several of ours, uh, church family also deal in the health industry and we want to pray for them that God will shelter and protect them and the work that they do and that uh, we'll be able to work together in this place to be able to accomplish the will and purpose of God. Come visit us if you can. We'd love to have you here. We practice safe social distancing in the congregation. Uh, many wear masks still and we have some room for you, so come visit us. If you can't visit us in person, please join us online. Our Sunday evening service is available at 6 o'clock through Zoom, and our Wednesday evening Bible study is available at 6.30 through Zoom. And if you would have an interest in either one of those, just contact us, and we'll be happy to get you the, uh, the link to connect you to those live classes. May God bless you, and may you have a great day. Down from His glory
Jesus was passing through Jericho and there was a man who desperately wanted to see Jesus in an effort to be able to see him as he passed by, he climbed up into a tree. And Jesus walked by and saw Zacchaeus and told him to come down out of that tree because he needed to go to his house today. A little bit later, the Lord said to Zacchaeus, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save the lost. Jesus came looking. Jesus came wanting to find those who are lost. The saving part of that would cost Jesus his life. But he was determined to do the will of God. He was committed to doing the will of God. The Hebrew writer speaks these words of Jesus in, in Hebrews chapter 9. That Christ entered once for all into the holy places not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. The blood that Jesus was willing to shed for us on Calvary, the price that he was willing to pay for our sins, we memorialize in this feast. A part of our remembering the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ that precious blood that he shed, the atoning, cleansing, saving power of his blood. His body was also offered on that tree as he gave himself completely, wholly, and freely to the salvation of mankind. What he told Zacchaeus that day, he brought forth into reality, giving his life on Calvary today. This first day of the week, we remember the price that Jesus paid for us. And we remember by observing this feast, as we partake of this unleavened bread that represents his body and this fruit of the vine that represents his blood, we pray God will help us that we will do so in a way that is pleasing to him, in a way that remembers, in a way that expresses our love and thanksgiving to him for the fact that he came to seek and give his life to save us. And thanks be to God that on that first day of the week, he rose triumphant over death. And because he lives, we have the hope to live. And today we serve a living, risen Savior. And today we remember him in the observance of this memorial feast. <laughs> 